I'm Nick Carpenter. I'm the VP of Art and Cinematic Development for Blizzard Entertainment. And today we're going to walk through some of the cool artwork that we're here that's here on display. That's a pretty long title. Does it fit on the business cards? Yeah. <laughs> no. Like wraps right. around in the back? No, yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, a couple times. Now, which, uh, which Blizzard products did you work on? Uh, I've actually had the opportunity to work on all of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've been at Blizzard for about 19 years, so you actually get a chance to touch everything. Oh, that's exciting. Do you have uh, a world you prefer to live in or that you like mo more than the others? Uh, it depends. Uh, I'd say StarCraft is probably my favorite, but uh, you know, I spend a lot of time working on Diablo, so I'm a little partial to Diablo right now. Oh, great. Now, how long... You know, I see, I see pieces of artwork here from you know, way back in the 90s, mid-90s. Oh, yeah. um, how long did it take you to put this event together? Oh, God. Uh, this event in particular, I don't know, but I know we've probably been working on the art book, probably assembling the art for the better part of two years. And a lot of that's probably just because we have so much other stuff going on at Blizzard. Um, you know, every once in a while, a random meeting would show up and be like, hey, you guys need to pick art. And we'd all be like, okay, finally, we go in there. And it was kind of almost like a, a laborious task. But once we started seeing the book come together, it was so awesome. Now, do you have a favorite piece of art either here or in the book? Um, uh, there's a piece that Wei Wang did of Kerrigan actually coming up out of a chrysalis. Uh, it's just this amazing piece. And you know, it took all of the new designs. Like She went through a total new design phase. And to actually see Wei take that and paint it was just mind-blowing. And that always sticks out. When you thumb through the book, it just jumps out at you, too. Now, uh, artistically, which universe do you think is the most artistic? I'd say, wow, you know, World of Warcraft and just Warcraft in general, um, you know, I think just the fantasy and the amount of races and the spectrum, it's so massive. Anywhere from, like, you know, Murlocs to, you know, Draenei to Orcs, it's just, it is the whole spectrum. It's probably because it's the biggest universe. Right. Now, are you guys surprised at Blizzard, the staying power? I mean, WoW specifically, but I mean, people are still playing StarCraft One competitively in some countries. Yeah, you know, it's kind of one of those things we try not to think about. You know, like we just tried to make games that we liked, and if we liked it, then hopefully everyone else would. But we were chasing our own needs. You know, um, it's kind of like you know, you know, any type of genre that you enjoy watching today. You know, movies that are now 30, 20 years old, right? You still go back to them. You still watch the original Star Wars, and I think it's just because it, it just captured something, and I think that being able to relate to that will go on forever. Right? Now you said you've been to Blizzard for 19 years. 19 years, yeah. That, that's a long time. Now is Blizzard. Are they more a family than you know some other companies? Because I mean, they seem to, people seem to stick around. Yeah, you know, um, that's just something it, we started. I, when I started at Blizzard, I think there were about 19 people, and it, it was just that we'd hang out at work and we'd hang out after work. And you know, as we started to slowly bring people on, it, instead of a job interview, it was more like a family interview. You know, and like, do you fit our family and culturally? Do you fit? And uh, you know, we've just held on to that sort of, you know, identity, and it served us really well. So absolutely, absolutely a family. And you know, if you look at the turnover rate at Blizzard, it's really low. Right. You know? Now, how many pieces of art are in the book? Do you know approximately? Uh, God, I think it's over 600 pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a massive book. I, I just got a copy, funny enough. Uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, people at work posted it, and they're like, oh, look what I got. I'm like, where's my copy? <laughs> you know, and I went over there, and I got it. And when I picked it up, I was expecting it to be a little bit thinner, because we'd only seen it in digital format. And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God. And, you know, it actually blew me away. And I was thumbing through the pages, and it actually kind of got me misty-eyed, you know, like just looking at the length. And, and the depth of the worlds that we created, it was it was my, it was humbling. Now, was it a little bit of a competition with some of the artists to see how many pieces they could get into this book? Not really. You know, I think we had like a, a, Chris actually had a real just, uh, specific vision for the book. At first, we you know a few of us wanted to be more of this uh, history book. You know, kind of like this is where we started and this is how we made these decisions. And he was very you know adamant that no, it's just got to be an art book. Like it just needs to celebrate the art, not necessarily the history. And um, you know, that that gave it a lot of legs and it gave it a lot of, you know, it gave us a lot of direction. And so it, it, we didn't get into a situation where like, hey, I got more than you. It's just like, hey, this is all about the art and let's just try to show off all of it, whether it be good or bad. It just it was just sort of this is us, you know, take it or leave it. Now, do you play all the Blizzard games? Oh, yeah. And do you have a favorite? Uh, I'd probably say uh, StarCraft. You know, uh, back in the day, I, you know, uh, I had I had chops. You know, <laughs> now I'm, I get beat up a lot. But uh, yeah, I'd say it's my favorite. Now, when does the book officially come out? I believe it uh, drops this weekend, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay. And can they? where can they get it? 
Uh, you'll be able to get it online, and I believe we're actually uh, allowing people to purchase it here on the premises. Um, and I think you can actually uh, link to it through our website. Oh, perfect. Hey, I'm Nick Carpenter and I'm a geek.